Okay, how you doing? This is Fugitive Recovery Operations Group. We're working for Ace Bail Bonds out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. Who we're looking for today is Zachary Springfield. He has to be caught by two o'clock or we have to pay the bond today. Uh, we had information that this guy, he was out in San Jose. So um, we got more information through investigation. We found out that he's been trying to contact the victim of the crime, a girl that he uh, strangled. So right now we're gonna be setting him up we have a location where he's going to be. We're going to be following the girl over to his house. And then uh, we're going to get confirmation he's there. Then we're going to take him down. So this is what he looks right there. He's six foot one, 160 pounds. We're waiting for another team member to come in. So we'll see how it goes. We're on route right now. We're following the uh, CI. And she's going to go inside. Once she's inside, She's going to ask to use the bathroom and she's going to relate intel to, to us what he's wearing, how many people are in the house, animals, supposedly there's an old pit bull. We want to keep everything as safe as possible. So that's what's going to go on. We got Gavin with us. Fugitive recovery, Zach, come to the door. Keep your hands so I can see you, man. You got a warrant for your arrest. You too, miss. Keep your hands where I can see him. Hey, come here. Open the door now. Call you. Fucking kick the door in. He's going upstairs. Here's your recovery agent, Zach, come up with your hands. Where's he at? Where's he at? Yeah. He's going out the window. Get up there. He touched the window. Oh, fuck, get him! Get him! Fuck. That's a long fucking. Gavin, hold him! Hold him! He's got a warrant for his rest. Fucking eyes. What do you mean resisting? Get, give me your hands. Hands behind your fucking head. Put that shit away. You're gonna get more. Put it Put away. Your hands. Put it away. Give me your fucking hands. Why are you being an asshole? Give, give me your fucking asshole. hand. Give me your hands. Just wait. Stop resisting. I'm not resisting. I can't fucking see. I'm give also. Your... Hold on, man. 
I was, I was caught position. Stop, stop. You will get sprayed Lay down again. Flat. Lay down flat. No, no, I can't. I'm, it's bullshit. Hold on. I will spray you again. You're pushing on my chest. I can't see shit. All right. So Give me your hand. Hold on. Just stop. Just stop. You got, you're pushing me to the fucking ground. Just stop. Let me see your hands. All right, my hands are right here. I'm not holding anything. Just stop. I'm put them it. out to your side. Well, get off of me. No, put them. I'm not going to run, dude. I'm not going to run. I just stop. Put stop. On, put on a stomach. Put on a stomach. Stop. Just stop. Put your hands behind your back, Zach. Just stop. I will break your arm. Put your what? hands behind your back. Oh, he wants more spray. Give him more spray. Stop resisting. All right, we got good dick. Stop resisting. Hold on. Okay, put the stuff on. Bring it back. All right, I can stand up. You're not going to stand up. I want you down. Put your hand behind you. You're gonna bring him up slowly. Go to your knees. Bring him up slowly. Go to your knees. Put one foot out in front. All right, defendant is in custody. We went to the house, we saw him on the couch the with the girl. Oh, yeah. I left it in your car. And um, defendant jumped out the window, ran into the agent in the back. He resisted, was trying to fight away. We had to pepper spray him. So we're on our way to the court now. Hey, hey um, t tell us your version of the situation. Well, man, this is, this is evidence and everything. All right, well, she flew me here from California. We stayed with each other in a house that she just bought. Um, probably about six months after we've been staying at her mother's house. She finally uh, saved up enough money uh, working at a strip club to, to, to pay for a house. Her dad gave her the loan, she bought the house, she pays him the payments. So one night, uh, probably about three days, uh, before Jillian's birthday. And so one day we're in we're in the house and she's ignoring me. Uh she has a bong in her house. It's it's red glass bong. She paid like 300 for it. And she was uh ignoring me because she wanted to smoke her weed by herself. I was like, I don't got no problem with that. And then uh so like even right now she tried to, that's what she told me on the phone. She was gonna bring some weed and smoke with me. And so she had, she she pretty much provided everything. It was on the table. And so um, I'm like, all right, fine. If you're just gonna ignore me, I'm gonna go to bed. So the first time I went to bed and she starts making noise in the living room. And then I wake up and I walk back out there and I'm like, are you still gonna ignore me? And I was like, all right, fine. This is whatever, I'm just gonna go to the store. Uh, do you want anything? And then uh, she goes and ignores me again. She hits the bong. And then I just go, all right, I'm going to the store. So I walk to the store, and then I, I uh, only had enough for one black and mild. And the dude fronted me another one because he knew that I'd pay him back because I always usually, I work a lot. Right. And so um, I get two black and milds. I smoke one about halfway because I know she doesn't really like the smell. Right. And then um, we have a little mailbox, a little hole, and I put the black and mild that I had because it stinks when you have it open. I put it in the mailbox slot and I hid it from her. And then um, I was about to walk inside, but then I was like, man, I might as well just hit this one too. So I started, to, I, hide, I hid behind the bay window. And then she heard me get home. And the next thing you know, she goes, look, if you don't, if you don't uh, get in this house, I'm gonna throw all your shit out in the street. And then she runs out on me. And then she takes my, uh, she runs out on me and she puts her hands in my pockets. Right. Trying to take the key so she can lock me out of the house. And then once I, uh, 
once like she's on me, I'm like holding her up so she doesn't fall and I'm walking her into the house. Right. And then uh, I had the black and mouth still in my mouth, even though I know she didn't like him, but I couldn't put it out because she was I was holding her up. Okay. And then once we get Hold into the house, I'm gonna go get them some water. Yeah. Once we get into the house, like literally right, right where the steps are, there's a chicken barbed window in the back. We right. walk into the house and she goes, "You can't smoke that in here." And then she snatches it out of my mouth and, and puts it out on my arm, like literally drags it and everything. And then I had a beer uh, and a, a half a like not even a, a shot, but it was like a, a, a shot mixed with orange juice and, and Sprite. Yeah. Like a, uh, like a vodka drink, you know? And I'm over age, so I can't drink. Yeah. It was in the refrigerator. And um, uh, so I wasn't really uh, over, I wasn't over the alcoholic uh, anything or right. anything like that. And so, I, but I did black out though, because when, when people like do threatening things to me, I just black out. Like, yeah, I didn't do anything to her that night. Right. All, all I did was walk to the store and go smoke a black and mild and she burned me with a cigar. I blacked out and I choked her. And then once I finished blacking out, like when I heard her go, she uh, she said like she she started going. I stopped. I laid her down on the steps and I was like, I'm sorry. And she's like, What just happened? I said I choked you. And then um, I was like, You need some ice for your neck and some water so you can um, clear out your pipes. And so I went and got her some ice for her neck. And I went and got her some water. And the only reason why I did it was because she she burned me with a cigar. Like I would have never done it. I, w I would have never even, t I never touch her like right. that. Unless she asked me to. And I'm not talking about like punching her or hitting her or anything, I don't do that. I'm talking about like in a loving, caring way and in, in a, you know, a passionate way. Cause I love that woman. I flew all the way over here to be with her on my own. Right. I wouldn't just, just hit her for no reason or do any of that. Yeah. She burned me she with said she, she said you strangled her though. I didn't strangle her. I and they would her. pick her up by the wrists and throw her across the street out Hell room and no. stuff. Oh, okay. Hell no. Why okay. would I do that? Why would I fly all the way over here to leave my family in California, be with her? Okay. Stay with Hold her. Hold on a second. Are you is your face still burning in your yeah. lips? Okay, get him out of the car. We're gonna sit you right down in there. We all have to decontaminate, okay? We gotta rinse this shit off. Okay? And you do it by just pouring it on Dude, yourself. This is, just, this is just even worse. This adds far too much. Here, Zach, tilt your head back. We're gonna tilt, do put it. your head back. We're gonna do it again. Dude, you need a little more. Ready? Tilt your head Good. back. Open your eyes. Feel better? Let's do the other side. Put, put this stuff all in your eyes. Oh, yeah. How'd I get you? Oh, I'm wet. Did you get that? My head was right what? here. Wet. Up. You're wet? Getting up. Well, you gotta get wet. You gotta get this stuff off you. And so I goes away after a little bit. Dude, this stuff isn't strong. Something she wants to say to you. I just think it's sad that you don't think strangling someone that you claim that you love, that it just doesn't have any effect on you. Like, you still think that you didn't strangle me that hard, but I blacked out. It's really funny. It's funny. It's funny to me and it's sad. I really hope that you never find a wife because I hope you never, ever put any girl like through what you put me through. I really hope that on you. I like wish that behalf on you. So that's all I wanted to say. I didn't think I didn't think you thought you'd get off so easy. Like who I, you're you're mess you're what? saying all this and you don't realize that you did brought me to what? Doing what I did. You don't realize. You were disrespecting me by bringing a cigarello in my house that I told you not I to bring in my house. So. You, at the time. you were not exactly. carrying me. No, once I took that cigarette out of your hand, yeah, or out of your mouth, yeah, after I did that, you picked me up by my neck. You were picking me up by my neck with both my hands. My feet weren't even on the ground. No. No? I was carrying you. You were carrying me by my neck. Yeah, we, I carried you in the house because you jumped on me trying to take the keys out of my pocket. You ran out the house. When are you talking about? I'm talking about when you strangled me, man. I'm talking about the whole night. Oh, the, the night house. that you woke me up and I was totally naked? No. The night you totally took all my clothes off and held me down and fingered me? What? Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Oh, okay. Hell no. Yeah. Yeah, and then I saw the video. You dragged me across the street. When the cop came up, yeah, it goes back 30 seconds. I tried to like, cross the street really 
You, yeah, I saw, I got dragged. I saw that. Yeah, I, I, I was reaching for the keys, but I didn't push myself. I didn't touch you. I didn't push myself. I didn't even touch you. I did. I saw the video. You were dragging me. It is funny. You're just ridiculous. This isn't funny. You're ridiculous. I didn't even touch it's you. Sad. You drove to the floor to get the keys. I'm sorry that your dad beats women too. I'm sorry you have to take after him like that. I don't want to take after my father. Don't you ever say you that. You don't That's want to. You already did worse. You strangled somebody that took you into I didn't their house. I you on purpose. You didn't strangle me on purpose? No. You didn't? It wasn't you strangling me. Oh, cigar. you? I mean, do you black out? Yeah. That's why I woke up on the stairs like, what the fuck just happened? I laid you on the stairs. I felt like I took a nap. You laid me on the stairs, yeah. After you, you carried me in my, 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 my throat. I had been thoughts the whole night. You ignored me. I went to sleep. You started to make a noise. I ignored you because you were threatening. And then when you didn't I tried let me to go call sleep anybody. Time, you didn't let me call you anybody. You playing with the dogs in the bed so I couldn't go to sleep. So I decided to walk to the store. And you got mad that I walked to the store and went about a black and miles. And tried said, to smoke it coming in my house. You might not smoke cigarettes in, in my house. Wait, hold on. Why has he got his why has he got his hands under his legs? It hurts. It really hurts. It really okay. hurts. I'm, I'm not You gotta seep out the minute if he's gonna do that. You can do that. It's just it really hurts. I, dude, he's dude, he's ready to come out. He's gonna come I'm out, not of that, come out of that, dude. You could come out of that right now. That's not cool. I really can't. I'm not going Yeah, you to. can. Absolutely. You have the physicality to do that. I'm not going to. I'm not going to break none of my wrists. I work with my hands. I don't know. You yeah, but you you could, you're not going to break me. your wrist coming out of that. Back behind. back behind your waist, dude. Back behind. No, 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 no. I was going that way. No, you're trying to go that way. No. No, go the other way. I'm not. I'm not going to do that. Jack, what's your... Look, all I was doing was lifting myself up. Come on now. There you go. Seatbelt them in now. See that? He's getting ready to come out of the So how, how do you feel about this? That you know he's in custody right now. I'll talk to you over here. I feel like finally he's in custody. Were you um you mentioned that you were undressed when you were passed out or asleep and then you were fingered, so I, were you I, raped? I don't think I was raped. No, I went to sleep with my clothes on and I literally this is like after he strangled me like a couple days after so I wasn't already sleeping really and so I go to sleep for an hour and then I wake up I'm totally naked. I'm like my hands are pinned on the bed like this with with his he's holding both of my hands with one arm and he has his other hand on my on my privates and and I'm just like screaming, like, let me go. He's like, why don't you love me anymore? Why, why can't, blah, 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 like, why can't we just be okay? Like, and then I like go to grab my phone. He's like, don't call anybody. I'm like, nah, I'm going to the bathroom. But then I go and I call my mom with my phone. And then I tell her to come and get me before something else happens. And so then I'm like, okay, I got to stall now until she gets here. So, I'm like, okay, let's go get some breakfast, you know, I'm trying to be like, okay, everything's okay, don't hurt me, don't, like, take my phone, okay, so, we're, like, in the car, we get in the car, and I'm, like, driving down Kalamazoo, I'm like, oh, I forgot my chapstick, so I, like, do a little loop and go back to my house, hoping my mom's there, she's not, he's like, okay, what's going on, I go in the house, I'm like, I'll be right back. I guess I take one minute too long. I come out, he's in my car, he stalls out my car. He's like, give me the keys. And I'm like, no, I'm like, no. And then he takes my phone and he starts running down the street with my phone. So that's why I'm in the street, like, help me, help me, like, oh my gosh. And then he comes back and uh, then he's like, where are your keys, where are your keys? And this is when we're in the road. And then I didn't know where my keys were. And then I saw them on the ground and I started to reach, reach for them. And then he like comes on top of me, and that's when I on the ground, and that's when the cops pull up and shine the lights. Mm. That was how that happened. I saw it in the video. I don't have to. I was just the cops were there when you were dragging me with their light on me. It's in a video. I saw it. You act like I want to remember every single so she's, detail. Of so what she's you're saying that. Through. So she's saying that she woke up. You That's were not true, sir. You were digitally manipulating her. Was that true? No. 
Oh. That's not true. So how did I wake up? I don't know. You don't know? You don't remember holding me down on my it own bed? It, that has nothing to do with me. I didn't it do that. It You weren't You weren't You there? woke up yelling. I woke up yelling. Yeah, and I was like, I gotta get up out of here. Yeah, sure. Um, That's real talk. You woke up yelling. No, I didn't. I woke up yelling. Ah! Doing all this crazy yeah, stuff. Yeah, you're holding me down. No, I was not holding you yes, down. Yes, you were. My head I was, was off of the right bed next at to one point in time. And I woke up, and you were right there, oh. fidgeting in your sleep and shit. And then you woke up and Maybe you started Maybe it's because you were yelling. trying to touch me and no, take all my clothes off. No, I was not trying off. to touch you. Yes. All right, guys. Well, listen. It's not true. We got to get going. Why would you tell him that I was throwing you into stuff like that? That's not I true. I didn't say throwing. I That's saw what he told you, me when you when he was in, in the, the video. I never did anything like that to you. Ever. And the fact that you're even gonna lie to them and tell them that you didn't even want to contact me. I stopped calling you, you kept calling me. Really? I have emails that you threatening me. If you don't go down there and remove those charges, you don't know things are gonna happen to you. You know I still have those emails. Yeah, things you know, are gonna happen I still to you have like that. me. I'm not gonna talk to you anymore. Yeah, exactly, sure. Oh, you threatening me with this and that and your dad and this and that. And your dad's calling me, threatening me, fuck that. I have nothing to do with that. All right, well, listen, we got to get going to court, guys. Okay, is there anything you guys want to say to each other in parting? I love you. Have a great life. I would never talk to you again. Just because the way that you treated me and part of the time that we've been staying with each other. I, I don't believe shit that you that say to me now. Any relationship you ever get in until any you stop becoming that until you stop you being selfish. In? I hope she's ugly and, and fat. I don't care and, what she is. And I, I hope I, that, I, I I hope that, that she strangles you before you strangle her. That's what you I hope. What? I won't be doing any of that anytime soon. All right, yeah. guys, we got to go. Next.